Hi, my name is Dr. John Yenabe. I'm the um, lead organizer and founder of uh, two mental health uh, initiatives, um, DFD, Dance for Depression, and uh, currently Project Hope. Um, I started getting involved um, with mental health uh, initiatives and projects um, soon after um, my, uh, my suicide attempt uh, late last year in August of uh, 2012. Um, uh, a range of different particular factors had, uh, had influenced um, such happening. Um, I had gone through depression, uh, major depression, uh, uh, might even suffer from an actual bipolar disorder. Uh, that actually led to my particular attempt then in that particular point in time um, and it eventually moved me uh, to, 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 to want to, to do something more for others um, and those who had also been suffering in such a particular instance. With concern to what I decided to do um, here in Anaganesh, uh, I, I decided um, a month after, after my attempt and after um, going through a little bit of a, of a process to, to try and get better, um, after receiving a little bit of help, uh, after being hospitalized, um, I, uh, I decided to set up um, an initiative called uh, DFD, Dance for Depression. Um, came, came from well, one, one particular love of, of dance and um, how that in and of itself has always, um, always spoken to me as being a language uh, to break down barriers um, and, and, and to bring people together. Uh, it, was, it was basically through that and then also the fact that I, I realized that through dance I, I felt a little bit better and I was able to move out of my, my, my particular zone um, and to, to live a little bit more. You know? I, I decided to put those two together um, and um, try and promote mental health awareness um, but also positive living. And, just pr pretty much just awareness and bringing it, bringing to bringing to light an issue that uh, that has been unfortunately um, you know always been silent. What DFD has actually been able to accomplish, the main thing that I wanted it to accomplish, at least in um, in the particular one year span that I had for it, was uh, awareness. Um, I know for a fact that it, it was a shock uh, to many to many friends and um, and uh, people that I, I had met in this particular community uh, when I did come out with the fact that I had a mental illness. Um, and the main thing of the main main particular aim of, uh, of DFD at the particular point in time was to create awareness and to actually make or move um, specific players, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to get, get them more involved in, um, in, in providing more services um, and uh, more of a support structure uh, for other students like myself um, on campus here in Anaganesh. Uh, DFD was able to accomplish this. Um, I think I think uh, I think it's safe to say that the student union of the of the uh, of, of, of Saint Effects University um, is uh, has heard it and is, uh, has listened to it loud and clear. Their mandate uh, this year has definitely looked at, uh, at focusing on uh, on providing more support for for people who suffer from mental illnesses. Um, and I think it, that in and of itself um, is uh, is progress. That was the main accomplishment for for DFD as of that particular moment in time. Well, I honestly think that the, the, the art uh, is, is, is in, in and of itself uh, the essence of life. Um, it, it, is, it is what, uh, what humans used to express themselves, uh, what they used to connect others um, from varying cultures, uh, varying backgrounds, uh, ethnicities. Um, and, and it does bring us all together in, in, in a particular uh, framework, I think. Uh, a beautiful tapestry, if I may say so. Um, and uh, in and of itself, it, it does provide a person with a way to, an, an, at least an outlet to express themselves, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an expressive art, it's an it's expressive form of, uh, of communication. So I think, uh, I think um, the art in and of itself ensures that a person is more full um, in, um, in, in their life, just in general. Um, and that in and of itself provides uh, uh, a better life, I think. Which leads me to, uh, to my next project, my next, next uh, mental health initiative, uh, which is called Project Hope. Um, project Hope basically um, is, a, is a youth driven initiative that looks at uh, recruiting um, young uh, artists, uh, musicians, uh, people who are, in, who are in, in the arts and culture scene, um, and asking them uh, to donate uh, a minimum of, of a minute uh, towards mental health awareness. Uh, say, for example, um, you might have a, um, a particular band that might be performing a particular particular night and a particular uh, uh, Hope Ambassador, Project Hope Ambassador would uh, spend a minute um, you know, either in silence uh, for, for those who in, 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 in honor of those who have, who have unfortunately um, taken their lives um, because of the silence that, that does surround mental health and mental, mental illnesses rather. Um, and uh, you might have a, an artist that, um, that might donate a particular painting um, or do, do something of that sort in, in honor of those who are, who are currently suffering from, from mental illness and silence. 
In essence, uh, Project Hope uh, looks at um, providing a voice towards, uh, well, for those who, are, who suffer from mental illness, um, or at least providing um, awareness of, uh, again, more awareness of, of, of this particular issue. But instead of just focusing here in Nova Scotia or here in this particular town, it goes coast to coast to coast, um, looking for particular ambassadors, uh, musicians, artists, and, uh, and whatnot to, uh, to, to, to bring a face to it, uh, and then to, to also ensure that they can inform people of particular services that might be in their local communities to help them, um, help, help those who suffer from mental illness to, 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 to receive the necessary treatment uh, in order to start the recovery process. Um, right now we've signed up quite a few artists and I'm quite excited, it's been about a month that we've launched this um, and uh, the official launch actually is, uh, is, is only coming up and it's still in its, uh, in its uh, uh, foundation stage I guess but it's, it's already coming along quite well. Soon after my um my, my suicide attempt, I, I dealt with you know, a, a lot of stigma, I, well, a specific amount of it anyway, and uh, it came from places I didn't even expect. Uh, um, this one in particularly from my, uh, from my, you know, from my own university. Uh, I, was, uh, you know, I was told that, um, that, that I would not be allowed to return. Um, and it, you know, it, 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 because I'm guessing, considering the circumstances, that in and of itself might have caused um, a little bit of a, um, a problem maybe for, 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 for the university. And, sort of different range of, uh, of areas, I guess. Uh, but I personally think that that in and of itself is, it's, it's, it's wrong. You know, I mean, you, you, don't, you don't bar a person from, you know, uh, from, 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 from attending a particular university or post-secondary institution across this country um, just because they happen to suffer from a mental illness. I mean, if a person uh, breaks their leg, you, know, you don't necessarily like bar them from, from, from the university. You don't, you know, it's, 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 it's actually supposed to be a healing process. You know, you, you'd expect, um, uh, you know, the university officials to, to, to come to your aid, to the aid of the student to ensure that, that particular person is able to grow. That's, where you, that's what universities are meant for, they're meant for personal growth um, and, to, and to help, help others uh, to move forward. Um, and I'm, I'm, my particular situation in instance isn't, isn't um, you know, isn't one in one in a million. And it's happened to a lot of other students that I've heard from coast to coast to coast who have, um, who have also uh, been barred from, from their own schools. Uh, because they suffered from a mental illness or had a suicide attempt, um, and it was it made aware them, made aware to, uh, to to particular uh, administrators, and I think again that's fundamentally uh, wrong, and it's actually discrimination. Um, I mean, it is uh, it is actually uh, more commonly said um, amongst uh, youth mental health advocates that you know um, discrimination against uh, against uh, people who have mental illnesses is um, is basically the last frontier, um, in, in acceptable frontier of of, 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 of uh, discrimination. Um, and I think that needs to change, uh, which is why I, I personally believe that you know legislation um, should be put into should be put put, put forth that uh, that ensures uh, the rights uh, of a person who actually have a, has a mental illness at a post secondary institution um, and might have attempted had, had, had a suicide attempt doesn't actually um, feel uh, as though they're being alienated or being uh, or being thrown to the wayside because they happen to suffer from a mental illness, you know. Um, it, 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 it's, it's a fundamental right that everyone deserves uh, and believes or should should have uh, have the right to you know, to go through what they're, what they're going through with dignity, to be treated with respect, um, but to also be shown compassion and understanding in their trial, uh, eventually ensuring that they, 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 they become better and you know, become uh, are able to contribute to society as a whole. I think labeling um, plays um, a major issue, you know. Uh, how, um, how particular people who might suffer from an Ill, a mental illness might actually feel about themselves, you know, and are actually able to get help. Uh, you know, for example, we, 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 you know, a person who might suffer from schizophrenia, we, we call the person a schizophrenic. I mean, that in and of itself is, is, is discriminatory. It, the person is not an illness, um, but is rather suffering from it and, and um, actually can get better, you know. Uh, it's, not, it's not as if, you know, they're stuck with this particular label for the rest of their lives or anything of that particular sort. Um, I mean, another example, we, we talk about uh, how, how the weather, you know, might change from rain to, 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 to sunshine real quickly and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, the, the weather is bipolar, you know, that in and of itself, again, kind of demeans uh, and to an extent I think also belittles how, um, um, you know, what, what a person might be actually suffering from. And I think in society as a whole, we need to, uh, we need to, we need to start, uh, start re-evaluating exactly how we, um, how we use these particular terms and, um, and then, uh, you know, how how, how they might actually have an effect on, 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 on others who might be suffering. Uh, to say that there is no stigma around mental illness is it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's an actual factor. Um, and it is one of the major things that, uh, that can actually hold a person back from uh, trying to uh, find help. 
um, or, um, or actually you know, uh, uh, talking to others and expressing themselves and ensuring that they can get the necessary uh, treatment. Um, in a community as small as this place uh, and in a province that unfortunately does not have the necessary uh, infrastructure uh, at post-secondary uh, institutions for, for people who, like myself, suffer from a mental illness, I think it's important for, uh, for, 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 such, uh, for such issues to actually come out uh, from the darkness that, that, that's been relegated to. Um, uh, as, as compared to, uh, to, to recently the province of Ontario that has decided to invest money in uh, into, into mental health uh, uh, initiatives on campuses throughout uh, their province, I think that Nova Scotia in and of itself should also be taking a, a specific stance uh, to ensure that, uh, that they do the exact same thing, um, considering that post-secondary uh, institutions here in Nova Scotia uh, do provide um, a decent amount of, um, of, uh, of, of, uh, of income to the, uh, to the province. So April 1st of uh, 2013, I was, uh, was honoured to join um, more than 200 uh, young leaders, uh, youth leaders in uh, youth mental health awareness um, from across, across the country in, uh, in Toronto for the first ever Youth Mental Health Innovation Summit called Unleash the Noise, um, an initiative started off by the, uh, by the Jack Project. Um, I was also lucky uh, as a delegate to also um, you know, share the stage with, with, with a few of these people as a speaker, as a guest speaker, um, you know, sharing my experiences um, with, uh, with, with, with mental, mental illness um, and, uh, and the particular trials that I've, I've gone through uh, here. Um, Basically, what we've done is we're, we're, start, we're starting off um, a particular conversation on this on this issue. We're providing uh, providing um, more awareness, but at the same time, also allowing youth to take ownership on it. Um, and uh, we now have um, just recently started off with um, a national collaboration um, uh, statement uh, that will ensure that all other youth organisations, uh, both both in you know post-secondary institutions and uh, and in communities across from coast to coast to coast, uh, will will have the uh, necessary support and framework uh, to, to ensure that they're able to succeed. Uh, teaching them what to do in particular situations um, and how to actually get their message across positively uh, and to receive positive outcomes. Um, at this particular summit, I was able to, uh, to, to, to experience um, or at least you know, uh, interact with a lot of the students that, uh, that had mentioned um, or talked to me about different approaches that they've taken um, uh, in order to, to bring a positive outcome uh, or bring a positive message um, uh, to people in the community um, and informing people about, uh, about mental health issues and how everybody he does actually have mental health um, um, and also you know providing a safe and positive environment for, for people who, who suffer from mental illness. Um, the approaches were varying in their particular stances. Uh, we've got uh, high schools uh, for in BC that actually have set up particular programs um, uh, to ensure that uh, there's an, a nice uh, or a necessary um, a supportive structure for a person with a mental illness, a person who might suffer from depression, um, who might suffer from a bipolar disorder or who might suffer from, uh, from schizophrenia. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I, I, I did want to bring, and I do actually want to bring, uh, most of those particular uh, approaches here um, to Nova Scotia. Actively as a person who suffers from, uh, from bouts of depression, uh, bipolar disorder, if you, if you will, um, I, know, I know for a fact that it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, it, 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 let's put it this way, Love, loving a person sometimes with, 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 uh, with depression, um, it's kind of like hugging a porcupine, you know. Um, and it's not easy. It really isn't. Uh, and sometimes where I feel as though I can't, uh, or for some reason, just can't listen to, to, to positive reinforcement, people talking to me positively, giving me positive comments. Um, I think that my advice, at least for a person who's currently suffering from mental illness, is to uh, number one realize that they are stronger than than they ever could even imagine because uh, they've come this far uh, they're still going you know, and then that in and of itself is, is a true testament of their strength uh, determination to, to, to keep moving, to keep going forward um, and I think that a person who suffers from mental illness should keep going I think they also need to think we in general need to try as much as possible to, to look for help if we can. Um, sometimes you'll be shocked in, in finding that uh, people will actually listen because in most cases you know we, we feel like nobody will actually listen to us or that we're too insignificant or, uh, insignificant or that we're too small, um, that we're not necessarily worth it uh, but in actual fact we are. You know, um, there are a lot of people that, that do care for you, uh, that do want the best for you. Sometimes it just takes, you know, one step. You might be, might be on your way to, 
better things. Um, so my advice to a person who suffers from mental illness is to stay strong, uh, to, keep, to keep going, uh, to never give up, um, and to also know that they're not alone in, in whatever struggle that they're, that they're, that they're, that they're enduring. Um, and for those, for those who, who are looking to understand um, you know, what or how a person with mental illness actually, you know, or what we suffer with or what we deal with or we have to deal with every single day, you know, it's, it's not easy. Um, as a young person, uh, I've had to deal with uh, social perceptions, um, workplace perceptions. Uh, I've had problems in my community with, with one or two people who weren't necessarily uh, understanding. I mean, it just goes to show how far we have to go to, you know, to, to ensure that uh, that such stigma and discrimination, I think, uh, will be uh, will be hopefully alleviated um, and reduced. Um, I think everyone, uh, in the words of my friend Justin just Schiani, actually from um, from the Jack Project, as he said, uh, everyone has mental health, um, you know, uh, and we can um, all. Suffer from mental illness. Uh, the facts state that it's one out of five. One out of five Canadians will suffer from mental illness um, or depression um, somewhere in their life lifespan. So it, it, it's, it's and it and it cuts across all boards. It doesn't matter what particular social background you might be from, um, you know, uh, or who you are, where you live. We can all suffer from mental illness, um, and I think mental health uh, has to be. Uh, definitely a priority. You know, you, you, we go into we go into in, into a hospital. We always go for a checkup, um, and we always check from uh, check ourselves from the, from the neck down. You know, but I think it's now time that we should also start thinking about uh, about um, also going in and you know making sure that you know also emotionally uh, we're doing well uh, and that, that that we're that, that we're at our best, um, so that we can actually be the the very best that we can be, um, not only for ourselves but for for each other and for the community as a large and as a whole. Green Day is basically um, an initiative that I'm trying to I'm trying to start up here. Um, uh, I'm trying to recruit as many um, members of, uh, of, of legislative assemblies across this country, uh, including federal, um, to, to to take a day um, where they will they will still stand up and show their support for people who might suffer from mental illness um, by uh, by wearing green, uh, which is the the color um, mostly associated with uh, with mental health awareness uh, and our ribbon. Uh, in, in practice, it, it would be more of what's, uh, what's also been initiated by another Nova Scotian um, who, uh, who brought forth um, Purple Day, uh, which is um, promotion and awareness actually of, of, of people who suffer from epilepsy. Um, and I'm trying to do the exact same thing, but more towards mental health. I'm also trying to get um, you know, basically our leaders to, 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 to take a stand and actually um, you know, and, and show others that they're, they're not alone.